Ugh. Alright, and we're chat. There we go. There's chat. Time to hit things with giant keys. Alright, where are we going? We got Agrabah, we got Pride Rock. If I remember right, we've got Twilight Town. Let's give, let's give Twilight Town a, a gander. It must be said that the English voice actors doesn't do a good job of sounding Sounds like a small like boy. Alright. Nigh all the chests and shit are here. We can grab on that we can indeed. But bless you, high jump. If only we had a bit of a higher level one, we wouldn't even need to grab the edges. Anyway, sound a lot. If I remember right, we're going off down this way. The nobodies are just beating the shit out of local children for giggles. Stunning recreation of what would become the world ends of you. That's the neat thing about the aerial spiral attack, you get you nobodies know, like this just get sucked up into it and just get you know swirl around forever to their death. I was hoping you would attack the one directly behind you that I kept turning around to. Your lock on got stuck on this guy. Oh, these ones are pricks. They hit like trucks. They also have tons of health. But when you get rid of their weapon, you can just suck them and other enemies up and just go nuts with it. And this is where we just go, fuck it. Switch port do well? I actually don't know how it did like sales wise. From what I understand, it's an alright port of the iPad version. Like there's you know a bit some issues of like you know background way, characters looking a bit a iffy. But otherwise it's basically alright. From what I understand of seals, like Square Enix at least haven't announced that it's a problem. Is he with the organization too? So we don't know. I'm hoping, like, the fact that Square Enix haven't said it's bad is promising, but I guess we won't know until they do their financial reports for sure. If they don't mention it there, then it probably did fine, just not enough to celebrate or condemn. You don't have any hearts. True, we don't have hearts. Hmm. But we remember what it was like. That's what makes us special. What are you Michael's apparent friend? We know very well how to injure a heart. Sora, you just keep on fighting those heartless. Let's jump in after him. <laughs> I'm not sure. How come? Maybe he'll lead us to the organization's world. Don't be reckless. Do you want to end up like Riku? What? He did just say he knows how to injure a heart. Hey! Wait! What did he mean? 
end up like Riku. Hey, how about you get out of my town now? You've caused enough trouble. You've saved your life, Riku. Son of a bitch. How about your way? Come on, guys. Hold it. Make up your mind. This goes to the strongest guy in Twilight Town. Hey. Thanks, but we don't really need it. Whoa! That was a hell of a run. Oh, Sora! Um, Pence, right? Do you know a girl named Kyrie? K Kyrie? I sure do. Uh, then you better come to the station. <laughs> what a loser. Cyber is just a loser. Might as well just burn out of it because I don't think there's any fights for the rest of this. Not in town, anyway. Surprised Pence recognized him in those sick threads. That's how he knew who it was. No one was like shit as slick as this. Hey, so how do you guys know Kyrie? Kyrie was really here? Yeah. And she said she was not where you just missed her. Tell me where she is. Well, what a romantic story. If you stick around, Zor's bound to show up. Yeah, he said he's coming back. Okay. What took you so long, Kyrie? Uh oh. Somehow, I just knew you'd be here. I've been reading you, Kyrie, the script, haven't you? You've got a lot of guts jumping right into the darkness like that. Good job. Good job. Putting up the utmost resistance. I guess to be fair, what would you do? What would you do against Axel? He would just set you on fire. Kyrie. Why do you make us come to the station? Bit, Axel. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. Come on, cheer up. Like I can even say that. I gotta Get help Kyrie. It's like poetry. That was close. It rhymes. Goofy too is Roxas. Donald doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Sora, Sora, are you okay? Huh? What? What do you know? Good thing Cypher did just insist he take this against, you know, all instant. just happened a new road is open it doesn't answer and the Kyrie question and Riku are waiting somewhere along it you'd better hurry then you coming back promise oh 
Oathkeeper, which has a very important new ability, as you can see. Also, Limit Form, which is curious. Limit Form is an addition made to Final Mix. It's a. Uh, basically, it's just the Kingdom Hearts 1 form. You get your Kingdom Hearts 1 clothes back, and all your abilities and attacks are based off Not only have your you the power a skill set from Kingdom Hearts 1. Pain. Like, your movement skill is Dodrill and all. You also have the power to plant seeds of doubt in one's receptive heart. It's a neat addition. Sora will soon begin to doubt himself. It will cause him to hesitate. And that hesitation will turn to anger. Please, to that anger get will fuel him to get rid of his apprehension and move forward. He will pave the way for the future we desire. There's something I've meant to ask. About Axel, the poor fool. How long will he keep chasing the illusion of friendship when he himself... I mean, have you heard his lines? He does he has anything but so lacking emotion. ...what he has lost when it may never have existed in the first place. Poor Axel, though. He deserves nothing more than our pity. Still going to kill him, though. That's what we do. King, Riku, and now I've lost Kyrie again. Not too. very good at finding people, are you? Don't be sad. Donald's right, you know. Why, you're the key that connects everything. So it's all my fault. <laughs> Gorge, I didn't mean that. Just do what comes natural to you, and we're sure to find them. By what he means, kill the yes. demon. Keep doing it. Thanks, guys. All of Ashton's looking a bit peaky. It's all covered in darkness. You're right, Chipper. Uh, I wonder what's going on. Sora, we better hurry and check it out right away. I believe this is the sequence I'm thinking of. Should be. The buggers. Do you think? Looks like there's more heartless now. The noises uh, they make. Let's go check in with everyone. I think they're at Merlin's. Never anywhere else. Let's see if I would have flashed up. Yeah, why not? The only point whenever any of these are, like collide. What a weird school of fish that was. The only point anytime these collide, they'll start like actually knocking each other out as you equip them. So yeah, here's all the shit. There's Sonic Rave, Last Arcanum, which was ours Arcanum before. But it's just called Last Arcanum now. Get all your abilities back. Sentit Sukum was a late game one for sword that we never got. A lot of these are sword ones that we never got. Basically. There is guard, slap shot, slide dash, all the lot. Leaf bracers in there and all. It's, it's, it's fun shit. We'll probably throw it on at some point. Uh, why not? Probably because it will interrupt me, actually. That's why not. Alright, you might as well have MP rage because you get hit fuck tons. You might as well have. Once more. Do inventory while we're here. Now then, Oathkeeper. Minus one strength, but the, the plus three to magic is kind of ridiculous. And the form boost, too good not to have, honestly. Might as well swap that out for Hero's Crest.
These guys don't have any items on them, and to be honest, I probably have to buy them armor and weapons. Nah, though. When we have the money, I think. Plus, it's just nice to, you know, have Oak's Keeper kicking about. Just, you know, for thematic reasons. Alright, you. Give us. Uh, here's the divine ones. Yeah. Probably not enough to buy their weapons, but hey, what can you do? Sell shit is what I can do. I do not have shit to sell. Well, I have got enough. Alright lads, tonight you eat. Your accessories will have to go wanting until we find some. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could put that on Donald and give him one of his magic abilities. Oh. It gives him enough AP, that is. No, well, you can get all of them there. Oh well. You can totally grab that rhythm sword, you son of a bitch. We'll need to get high jump level two before we can grab that. Oh hello, look who it is. I dressed in full advent children gear. Oh, cloud. Standing around by the ice cream shop, looking like he doesn't want one. I'll get him. This time, we settle it. Me and the one who embodies all the darkness in me. I wonder who that could be. Hmm. I said you look kind of different, Cloud. If I do. <laughs> yeah, movie happened. It's his fault. Whose? Sephiroth. Tell me if you see him. What does he look okay. like? Okay, <laughs> what's he look like? Silver hair. Carries a long sword. Sure. Well, to be fair to Sephiroth, his characterization never actually changed following Final Fantasy VII. He messes with your head. He was always just darkness is the only way. batshit crazy. Is something wrong? And just Edge Lord Supreme. That's just how he always was. Uh, uh... It's nothing. Hmm. I don't want you involved. You mean, you don't want me there when you go away again? I just... Listen. Even if I go far away... At least the girl isn't dead back. in this world. Yeah, true. You mean it? Yeah. Yeah. See? You don't look so sure. I'm kidding. Well, okay. I understand. Go. Get things settled. I just go kill him already. Just do it. No matter how far away you are. Once you find your light, I'm sure it will lead you back here again. She's like but taking a half step towards I'm being how she was in Final Fantasy VII. So like here. the whole go, just go do it thing is something she would have said, but then there's all this shit about okay, the light. Cloud? It's okay. not quite how Earth was. Wonder if he'll be okay. Nah. He'll be fine. I'm sure there's some light in him somewhere. You're right. Okay, we have food drive for him today. Let's, let's have a gander. Limit four, and we're back. We got like fucking dodge roll again and shit. Look at us go. You can't pull it off as quickly in succession as you could before. And it has like it doesn't have as tight invincibility frames as it used to have, so you can't guard as easily with it. You have all your attack combos still. I'm not quite getting Santa Tsukin or anything, but hey. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, wasn't Seth's plan essentially the world is corrupt to shit, so I'm gonna destroy everything that created a new pure one? Uh not quite. Like basically Sephiroth's whole thing was that he was he thought he was a pro totally normal dude, well a really cool but otherwise normal dude, and then found out that he wasn't, and then that just kinda broke him. And that combined with corrupting influence from the alien hell beast he was like genetically modified from just basically drove him completely at shit and he just wanted to destroy everything. It wasn't so much like I'm going to create a new pure world as it was just you know seek out and destroy and make up whatever excuse makes, sound, makes it sound good. It ties into the whole themes of Final Fantasy 7 about like identity, who you are and you know what that makes of you. The like, Cloud and Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII are actually like, a really good hero-villain pair because they reflect each other in that way. Which is part of what makes Advent Children and a lot of the stuff set after Seven shit. Because it just kind of forgets that and the characterization and all the rest of it. I didn't know Leon had a house. Hmm. Everyone's just in the fucking darkness. I, think I should probably stream Final Fantasy VII at some point. I have the the like the port on PS4 here. That is a game that is oft misunderstood. Which is kind of funny when you think about it, because it was the first one that went. The Final Fantasy was always a great seller in its native Japan, and was an okay, okay seller although elsewhere until like, Final Fantasy VI, but it was like Final Fantasy III, I suppose, was like the breakout originally. And then Final Fantasy VII, they still like tripled or quadrupled that, and this fucking exploded worldwide. So, with that in mind, it's kind of funny how, like, misrepresented and misunderstood it is, considering how many people ostensibly played it, at least. And again, probably just speaks that a lot of them didn't understand it to begin with. To be fair, the English translation, at least originally, wasn't the best, because, you know, 1990s translations. It was you were basically, you know, like half a, like half knowledge of Japanese, and just thumbing through a dictionary and hoping you could piece it together well enough. Excuse me, are you with the restoration committee? Oh no. Oh good. What's Leon's gang up to? They've got stuff to do over by the castle postern. Scoop. Huh? Let's report. Our leader, of course. Yeah, you I kind of wonder about the decision making on this one. Don't mind her. I assure you, we come in peace. You're kidding. Problem? Okay, fine. You do the talking. Why are these two showing fairy things? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I find it inherently funny. <laughs> I get used to seeing these heartless, by the way. They're all over this fucking place. I also find it kind of darkly funny that, like, Yuna and her girl gang are just fucking pretty explicitly and kind of happily just doing shit for Maleficent and not really giving a shit. It's just funny to me. It makes me wonder what Namora's opinion of Final Fantasy X 2 was. Rising Sun is an ability we will see tons of as well. This is it. 
You don't see anyone else in chat? Uh, David's probably, like, lagged it. I don't see anyone else either. I see you. Uh, David had to, like, leave because he just told me he was, like, heading out after a bit, so he's probably gone. There's probably just no one else here. Oh, well. Also, Sora knows how to ride a skateboard. I thought you were all stuck with someone else. No, that was just me continuing on my own rambling. It's fine. Sora has his own skateboard because Roxas knew how to skateboard, so nice. Sora knows how to skateboard too. Perhaps Sora always knew how to skateboard. We don't know. Unless we do. I've never take a skateboard in this room, I just don't fucking remember it. You can just run into the enemies while on this. And just constantly like, do little tiny damage to them by running into them. You're literally styling on them. <laughs> oh no, my <laughs> skateboard. Also, the defense system that I can cast fire and launch, en launch enemies for us, which is great. I think he's got her. Trying so hard to jump, but for some reason, he doesn't want to. That one despawned and respawned, that's rude as hell. Get back on there and jump and do the method grab. It takes considerably longer, but damn if it isn't fun. Alright, let's do this the proper way then. Not a nice thing. Cure now has an AoE around it so you can heal everyone at once instead of having to specifically target people like in Kingdom Hearts 1. Didn't note that before, but it is a nice little improvement. King is extremely interested. There. You know, does have to accept, Sora, that you will not find him until the final part of the game. Slightly ominous. Also around here, I think... I don't know if it's open yet. But there is a little... Optional dungeon of sorts in this area. Which you can access from here. I don't know if you can get to it yet. Or if you need to like, wait for a plot event to happen. But the whole idea of it is basically you need to like level up all your forms. And get their movement abilities to be able to like traverse it. You need like high jump, you need glide. I think you need quick run at one point. I forget. I know high jump and glide are like key to it. So, so. Which I thought was pretty neat. I don't know if that was in the original game. I don't remember it. So it probably wasn't. It might have been a Final Mix edition. But. Mm. Hmm. That looks familiar. Alright, 
it, there is a semi-important chest in here in terms of materials. That's it. The dark crystals, those are very important in making the high-level shit in the sense of the shot. Which we're not going to do, really, because I don't want to come for the rest of it. It's good to know. Quarters, ah yes, how specific. Right, like, this place where the mini-map will be a special kind of hell. We made it in here for an hour and a half. Like Kingdom Hearts 1 all over again. I don't know where you're going. See in that particular air combo a lot until we can find a way to extend it. Lizards! Nose around here because always nose around every corner. Can't reach that just yet. The quarter suddenly becomes fancy. That's interior design. It's remarkably not dark for Ansem. Ansem. Fucker loved himself though, look at that. Gorge. I guess this must be his room. Master King. Hello? Hey, you! Oh, hello. Someone else wearing her Advent Children outfit. I'm looking for somebody. Have any of you seen a guy with spiky hair? <laughs> <laughs> Spikier. That's a good gag. I'll just take a look around. Tifa is actually a character who, who came out of the... You know, the, the characterization stuff. Actually pretty unscathed. She's pretty much the way she always has been. Which is good, because she was great. Case in point. Sorry to bother you. Just nose around. Wreck no shit. No one wants to fuck with that, so <laughs> off she goes. So you made it. Leon! Alright, where'd you teleport out of? Shush. You'll see him soon enough. She had good intuition, that Tifa. I mean, to be fair, it's no wonder it took him a while to find it, because it was literally just behind a magic panel. Don't touch the computers. He was a busy boy. He's got like a 50 million core computer going on. This is it. Where's Kyrie? Where's Why would you immediately start touching it? Easy. <laughs> Easy. You want to break it? Oh, sorry. You do you know how to type, away. right? Whoa. Just, yeah, keep stomping on it. Thank you, Donald. Attention, current user. This is a warning. Further misuse of this terminal will result in immediate defense. The computer is getting pissed off Who's at there? you. I am the master control program. I oversee this system. Hmm. Where are you? 
Donald. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the dog. <laughs> you are now under arrest. Arrest? Run. Good reaction time, everyone. Hey, guess where we're going? Right, this was another one I never fucking saw coming. Run, but first, let's all look shocked for five or so seconds. Check out our wicked cyber suit, though. <sighs> this is Tron, yep. Space Arkanoids is the <laughs> arcade game. We got Cyber Heartless and everything. Who are you? I am Commander Sark. A Heartless Commander? Hmm. Observe. Uh oh. Okay, you're the boss. I get it. This world is pretty fucking rad. Even like just visual design alone. Like it's it and Timeless River, like those are just the sort of things I would never even though and they do like all Disney shit. You think oh they're just gonna keep to all like the popular animated movies. Man, what kind of world but uh they don't they actually went kinda of fucking nuts in Kingdom Wars too. A what system? A oh boy, do you get to ride the bike? So oh, 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 you'll see. This system is a copy of one created by a corporation called ENCOM. The original program was destroyed. But this the man was himself. By another user. The new user updated and customized the programs, renaming the system Hollow Bastion OS. He used the system for town maintenance and to advance his private research. My name is Tron. I'm a security program, but now I'm under arrest. Same as you. Did you guys get any of that? <laughs> Gorge! You know, maybe we should just introduce ourselves. Unfortunately, Tron, you're talking to a trio of idiots. I'm Sora. And I'm Tron. Nice to meet you, Tron. Well, I'm Goofy. With that configuration, you must be users. Users? You'd better get out of here quickly. Who knows what the MCP will do to you? MCP? The Master Keep Control up. Program. It controls the whole system. If you we idle will here, be you will be derezzed. So, how do we get out of here? This terminal could have gotten you back to the user world. But the MCP cut the power 50 microcycles ago. How many microcycles, though? If we could bring the energy core in the canyon online, we could power it back up. The problem is, we're stuck in this cell. We're not going anywhere unless we unlock the energy fields. Well, we now have a plan. So check out that command menu. Using the keyblade to hack. Master Control, why not just derez Tron? I still haven't located the password to the data space. What about a logic probe? With all your processing power? Out of the question. 
The current environment hampers the processing power needed for such an analysis. I just love like the inheritance to old effects and shit. This is so good. Stop any remaining anomalies in the system or else. End of line. Acknowledged. Remarkable. Well, of course. Drones in. So while we're here, got drive boost, which, uh, of course. Drone himself isn't up the much like most, but hey, it's, it's welcome. And yes, he does fight with a disc. Okay. Just because, of course. Keep messaging me, pardon. We'll touch that in a moment. Access computer. Tron was so very neon, it was indeed. Neon was the way to show that things were cyber. That and polygons. Also, the music in here is sick as hell. There it is. You son of a bitch. Computer inside a computer. You'd be surprised at how often that happens. <laughs> this is basically just psychokinesis, man. You're totally illogical. Also lines on the ground, yeah, that's the other big one. Geometric patterns. Oh, right here. I guess he wants us to touch from before. It's like someone so looked at a motherboard and completely missed the point. <laughs> yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? He'll give you the password to access the DTD. You're back! So, um. DTD is the name my user gave to the data space. Copies of all the original system programs are stored there, along with anything that's sensitive or restricted. Is there stuff about the Heartless or Organization 13? Hmm, most likely. He's just saying not to make you do it. A number of my functions were appropriated when I last took on the MCP. 
That's why I need the password. If I can get inside the DTD, I can access my original backup program and restore all my functions. Then I'll be able to put this system back the way it was before the MCP got control and changed everything. The way it was supposed to be. A free system for you, the users. Hmm. Gee, Tron, ain't the MCP one of those programs too? Do you know who it was who made it? Actually, I don't know. Okay, we'll just have to find your user and ask him. I mean, who made What's it and who's using it is kind of different. You don't know? <laughs> My user is the user of this system. Ansem the Wise. Ansem! Well, that's kind of a problem because he's dead. Looks like the MCP's onto us. I'll keep this terminal up and running. You better exit the system now. Why was sure. that a surprise? Try because they're fucking Anson idiots, that's why. <laughs> it is his love. You'd think he'd know. Okay. You'd think they would guess, go. but... Hurry. They're not the smartest. You, like, you show them like one too many shiny things and their brains just stop working. And their capacity for shiny things is basically two at once. You Sometimes only one. Leon doing his best computer hacking. Try to explain this when you don't know shit about computers. He's already dead. Okay then, Tifa. She was looking for a guy by beating her way around furniture. Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, at least she set it down instead of just throwing it. <sighs> Didn't even flinch either. Hmm. What's this doodle? DTD. Door <laughs> to darkness. <laughs> Looks like a diagram or something. Oh, D T D. Thank you, Sora. I'm, I'm glad someone What's had up? the ability to realize. Look at this. This must be the data space. The D T D. See. The door to darkness. You had a one track mind, that answer. What do you know? But that still leaves the password. Say, fellas, did somebody mention the door to darkness? <laughs> that line, and then he's just there. It's him, the guy who's never around. He also keeps doing this. Even though they're not. They don't care. You mentioned the door to darkness? Oh, yes, sir. You see, we're looking for the secret password. Password? Oh, I guess you mean like a code. 
Beyond's Beyond just well, the door totally to dies can inside. Only be opened by the seven princesses. There's Snow White, Jasmine, and Belle. Of course. That's all he needed to hear. What are you trying to do? With that password, we can get access to Ansem's research data. So that means you might be able to find out where he is. Stop joking around, your He's majesty. Dead. We already defeated Ansem. You know that. Looks like <laughs> Are you ready to get your mind blown? <laughs> okay. But first I've got a question. Hey, isn't Tron waiting for you guys? No, it has to wait. Oh. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Lie. If those heartless attack, I'll stand and fight with everybody here. Yeah, we will too. Then let's talk more later. That's a promise. I'll see you when you get back. I bet he's going somewhere. <laughs> you just can't trust this little shit. You can kind of tell that limit form was just added into. Uh, final mix as like a just inserted into a world where it vaguely mattered because this is the point where you actually get your third form master form master form absorbs both of your partners but it is pretty kick ass because it is pretty high attack but also pretty high magic and you, you still have the two Keyless thing so you're just pulling off double hit combos while also being able to shit like high level magic also, we got Stitch now. He, he just left that for us, I suppose. So good shit, we're just getting buried and stuff. And I'm going to go take a piss, and then I'll be right back. So give me a moment.
Okay, I'm back. Wait a moment. Where the hell did I put that? Where's my phone? Where's the clock? There it is. Alright. And back in we go. Oh wait, no, we need to touch the computer, not the loser. Back in we go. Jack in and stop the viruses. Man, that's a game I haven't played in fucking ages. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. So, does this look familiar? Oh, I didn't touch nothing. Welcome to the game grid. Game grid? That's right. You've been chosen to play a few games. Lose and you will be subject to immediate de-resolution. Win? Well... <laughs> no one wins. Mm. You're not gonna play your games? You have no choice. Well then, get on with it. We're playing on the light cycles. See it? You got three types of commands. You can turn your turn with left and right shoulder buttons. Or stick me into the shoulder buttons because that's just cooler. Oh boy. We'll be in here a wee bit, don't you worry. They wouldn't let you just get away with that. Fuckers. That's not how computers work. <laughs> Fucker. Trying to turn the right so hard, but they were in the way. Height, I'm aware. And we're right. <sighs> it is a bit tricky just telling who, like, when the enemies are attacking, if they're doing, like, a, an attack or a charge. But otherwise, like, it's fine. They're mostly color coded, but then you get the white ones who can do any action, which are just pricks. Uh, I don't understand. Why are you and here? don't worry, you what can, you once you the beat master? the world, you actually can go back and play light cycles if you want to. Transmit. 
Hey, are you okay? I'll be all right. Once we access the DTD. And someone calling his computer like the door to darkness is like me calling my computer like just the anime box. And you name it after your, like, your current obsessions. Or if I call my iPad the wifey pad or something. You just, just can't focus on anything else. I'm not particularly stressed with any of these. I would get to fight the Cyber Heartless properly this time. Music in this area is just so fucking good though. Also the enemies and their movements are they, they basically always move in straight lines. Like, anywhere they can, they will move in a straight line. Unless you knock them out of it, it's pretty rad. Well, the wee feet for one going through it anyway. That one's going diagonal, because he's a shit. how you get that one. I don't fucking remember. Like all these things, I just assume it's something to do with gliding. So even though the regular Heartless in here just have like reskins to make them more cybernetic looking, they're fucking great. Look at their little lines all over their bodies because they're data now. Welcome to the data space. Access main tunnel. And Kyrie. Please enjoy a game while the process is running. Oh dear. Biosecurity return is fight for your life. Because the heartless are in here, because Ansem was just a little bit obsessed. I do love like the magic circle-esque fucking you know like digital patterns along the ground. to get enough data clusters out of the security programs and then you too can hack a monitor. Which is not completely unlike our computer's work, I guess. Yeah, you, you, you penetrate, you grab the information you can, and then you just use what you got to override or slip in or inject it. case we're just injecting, I don't know, freeze.exe. I do appreciate that Donald gets a thunder boost out of fighting the computer programs. Well, thunder boost ability, he has to like, equip it to actually have it. I'm as good as new! All my functions have been restored! Finally, I have 
full access to the DTD. My takeover of the system is now complete. I might have anticipated such a simple password. It would have taken you hundreds of years to get it though. Emergency destruct program for the town. If this was Java, he would have said methods instead. <laughs> That's true. If this was Pearl, he would have said subroutines. Program, you changed the password. There, you son of a sometime. bitch. Tron, tell us what's going on. The MCP's loading a hostile program into the I.O. tower. What can we do? We've got to protect the user town. Let's head to the tower. We must slay the MCP. Tron has learned a new ability. Let's see if we're gonna even equip it. Yeah. He's well, he's already got them all equipped. There we go. He's got his limit command now. I've been forgetting to check each time when they say they got a new ability because so, most of the time it's just they get their limit commands. I think sometimes they gain like another attack or something. Might as well show it off. Become the Cyber Tower. Just unleash data around and then destroy your enemies. Cyber mages. Cyber wind mages, cause fuck you. Nope. Nope. I think it's one of the, well, it's not quite one of the tanks, actually. It's mostly one of the tanks. Nice. Holy fuck you. Oh god. Okay, that's just being cheeky. No, Sean, I do not wish to set up with you. We actually got ranged out so much if you turn back to the regular music. Jesus Christ. Goofy's baggy cyber pants are getting to you. <laughs> they do look quite curious, don't they? The IO Tower communications room. Which almost looks like the inside of an XCOM UFO, honestly. Like a temple ship, really. First, let us touch this. We get our MP bar back. See it over here, because why not? Before we also do any of that shit, okay. give me the shit. Gaia belt. And our map. So it's just a way out, I think. I don't think we have to do this, eh? Let's just be sure. Nah. Just a way out in case you want it. Yeah, I think touching that would do something. Who's in our party? I don't know, let's see until we go out. In now. Ah, here we go. I'm disappointed in you, program. Why do you insist on allying with these selfish users? 
Because I want to help them. Something written into my code commands me to do what is right. Really? And what command would that be? I can't really say for Morality. Sure. Friends, they help each other. Tron dot morality. Uh oh, look out! Welcome to the Cyberdome. Probably should have equipped Thunder for in here. The cluster mechanic is still here, just, you know, you can hack your way out. Well, not out, but you can hack your way into him if you get enough clusters. Considering he's keeping himself perfectly equidistant while Tron keeps ganking him with the disc, it's gonna happen sooner rather than later. And hey, if he were to do it live. Not the triangle command I was hoping for. Fuck it, go for it. Stop moving around, you motherfucker. Come on. Hit him, Randy, hit him. Valor for the master form, even. Pardon me. It's just instinct to say that. See so yeah, it. The neat thing with like Master Form is that like uh, Wisdom Form it has its own special animations for spells. Like you do a big mad flip forward and do half a physical attack while also doing your uh, spell. Naturally it's uh, actions are just a lot more flamboyant, dramatic, and damaging than Wisdom Form, and it also puts out more damage than Valor. Get over there. What is even the reason for the main program's rebellion, though? If you truly logical, you should care, you should care about, shouldn't care about anything. Get frozen. Not even self-preservation, now it's not coded in. That's what, yeah. Uh, hmm. I think what it was that like, he hated, like the. This is what we have magic for. That's one of the ones where you need to do either land a finisher or cast a spell to kill it. Which is why I was like, ah, oh, I should equip Thunder. That and I think Thunder just fucks things up more in here because, you know, technology. Yeah, if I remember the, the original Tron, right? Wasn't it something like. He, he like he logically concluded that like the irrationality and nonsense of uh, human users wasn't worth keeping around, and so it should be subjugated and made orderly or something. I really owe you one. This is the scene I was thinking With all of. my functions up and running, I think I've got a chance of getting system control away from the MCP. Now, I'd better get to work. It's what my user would want. What Ansem would want. He would want the door to darkness up and running again. Listen, Tron. We didn't get the password from Ansem. We just sort of found it back in the user world by accident. And one more thing Ansem, he was our enemy. I mean, he still is, I guess. Well, actually, he's my enemy, too. Hmm. What do you mean? Ansem took Encom's original system and customized it for his own use. I was part of the original system, and Ansem modified me, too. So, that makes him my user. But Ansem is also the one who brought back the MCP. This is all Ansem dealt with before that. Wouldn't do that. Ansem, you Sorry, first knew. Tell you. That's okay, but... Now I really don't get it. I don't understand it either. But I think users like you are going to be the ones who will finally figure it out. 
You have the ability to take illogical routes and still arrive at the answers you seek. It's called fuzzy logic, my friend. Now go, before the MCP starts acting up again. Any data you need from the DTD can be accessed directly through my user's terminal. I'll keep a dedicated access channel open for you. Is this something I always notice, even in like so cutscenes like this, where it's just shot, reverse shot? Access channel? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. God help you. But yeah, like in ones that are like shot, reverse shot, they still try to keep characters words. like animated it's when the camera's on them. You know, it's like Tron was just like all over the place, like you. arms going. My friends are the new password. Like, head going, looking around them and all that. It's just something I noticed, because... Thanks, Tron. Take care. Especially in a lot of recent you games, too. the whole thing Can of characters just standing completely users. stiff, completely still, and just staring at each other, or just staying in one pose and locking eyes while in the little chat scenes, is just... It bothers me more and more. Look what we got. It bothers me more and more as we go along. Like, it really stood out to me when I saw, like, the... Well, that's that. Ratchet and Clank remake. Look. Maybe it'll be pixels for us and all. Tron, hang in there. So, where do we start? I know. Let's access the DTD. The king's checking the situation in town. He'll be back soon, so See? don't he worry. Off. Hey, look. It's asking for a password. That's easy. It's Sora. Goofy. Of course. That's when is Pixel World coming? To the point. Well, you know, there really should be one at some point. That did it. We're in. I have to go into town. Need to see what that last shakeup did. You're not gonna check out the data? It wasn't exactly easy to get. I'm coming right back. Hey, Sora. Why don't you get started unloading the data and copying it down? But yeah, basically just seeing all the <laughs> just a few keystrokes. Easy, right? <laughs> Don't tell him the commands or anything. When you come back and every he's like moved my computer into the recycle bin, you'll be sorry. Can you work? Hey, these things take time, okay? Whoa, it's doing something. Huh? I think it wants to know what we wanna know. Riku and Kai. You're all fucking helpless. No way. Even Ansem's computer doesn't know. Why would it? What's he doing? Well, I thought I'd ask the computer if it can tell us about them nobodies. I appreciate that they're all like this index finger typists. What's this? The data is corrupt. <laughs> How about the organization? There. The data is corrupt. Stupid computer. <laughs> so isn't that that you'd remind you of something? Sora. I'm glad huh? the OS has guy? reactions for well, when you start key smashing. Things working. Oh, oh your Majesty. Majesty. Some members of your family are extremely at the computers. We need to know. <laughs> but it keeps on saying the data inside's all kerscuffled. All we got is a picture of some guy we don't know. And some the wise. Come on, are you teasing us again? <laughs> uh, he, well, he's back. He actually did stick around this time. Of course I do, and this is him. I'm positive. Excuse me, could you come this way, please? <laughs> Look, this is Ansem. You know, Some the guy we all worked really hard to defeat. Oh, that's right. I never finished explaining. <laughs> well, the man in the picture is definitely the one who tried to take over Kingdom Hearts. The one you fellas defeated. But 
What you actually thought was his heart. Was handsome the wise is heartless. He wasn't really <laughs> handsome. He just went around telling everybody that he was. You mean mm. We went through all that trouble to defeat an imposter? I mean, it was still important yeah, that you got feared, huh? But he still had to be stopped. Uh, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm kind of confused. If he's a fake, then what happened to the real Ansem? Well, that's just what I'm trying to figure out. Ansem the Wise should know all about Organization 13's plans and what's been happening to the world. I'm pretty sure he'll give us some help. You know, I came close to finding him once. Hmm. Don't tell me there's more. <laughs> I'm lost enough as it is. Well, let's see. Some feller named Ansem, who wasn't really Ansem, became a heartless. Does that mean a nobody got If he's on the fucking ball, as always. Too? Yep, and that nobody that is would be the leader of Zemnis, the He of the extremely deep voice and the highest chair in the chamber. I know I've met this fake handsome before, and I've seen the leader. And the guy who completely wrecked too. shit in Kingdom Hearts One. Kind of felt like being around the same fella. So where did you meet this guy? Gosh, I what an info drop. Ansem the wise, the real Ansem. Must know the imposter's true identity. That's why I've got to find him. So we've killed the man's heartless. We now have to go kill his nobody, and the part of the man himself is actually still this. running around. Because of you, Riku and Kairi. Welcome to Kingdom oh, Hearts. Your Majesty, do you we know what? We need to kill Riku a guy is? three times over just to make sure he's dead. He's. I'm sorry, I can't help. I'm going to throttle you, you tiny mice. Really, your majesty? Are you sure? I'm sorry, Sora. What about Kairi? Organization 13 might have kidnapped her. Oh, no! Sora, Donald, Goofy. I was planning to go get help from Ansem the Wise, but... Now I know I forgot the most important Actually turning off and doing things in the video game. Helping should always come before asking others for help. We're safe and sound and free to choose. So there's no reason we shouldn't choose to help our friends. Let's look for Riku and Kairi together. Outside! Oh no. Sounds like we gotta start by helping out here. The fucking coat on him. Anyway, forgot to do this. Uh, Master form also has its own second keyblade, which we might as well set to photon debugger, because Hero's Crest is over there with its four strength and zero magic. And photon debugger has a nice balance. We'll keep Oathkeeper. Yeah, and we'll keep Oathkeeper where it is. We're one off of this one. Oh, let's just wait then. So while I'm at it, I'm gonna switch fire out for thunder. And otherwise, we're gonna. That's all fine. Wrong door. So why does Mickey wear a nobody cloak though? I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't actually know. I don't actually know if it's even said why he has the coat. He just has it. At some point, he gets it. Maybe it's just the thing you ha you get or start wearing to get around yourself in the uh, you know get around in the world of darkness. I don't know. Attack the white husks. Sweep them away. Great big heartless versus nobody war. We're never gonna win. I don't know about you, but I'm out of here, sister. You pathetic coward. And the nobodies are fucking winning. <laughs> I 
Nick is not dealing with that. Heartless, leave the white ones. Turn your attention to Sora and his friends. Uh -oh. So naturally, everyone piles on us. These ones are annoying because they have that grab attack, but yeah. otherwise, not too big a deal. I was hoping I could clip it out of that, but I guess not. But hello, you're a big one, aren't you? your attacks with that will get faster. I'm calling it Mickey lost his heart at the end of Kingdom Hearts 1 and that Mickey you talk to is his nobody. He's still a nice guy just because he's fucking Mickey. <laughs> now you're thinking like a Nomura. Looks like she ran away. Well, that was pretty lame of her. I guess we picked the wrong side. Very slowly losing his patience. Um, hey, if you're looking to pick sides, why don't you pick Leon's? They can always use help. Does this Leon have any treasure? Yeah, lots of Mindlessly greedy. Perfect! Come on. Who are you? Oh, we're nothing worth mentioning. Damn. Three treasure <laughs> fanatics. Later, Taters! Nothing worth mentioning indeed. I kind of get the impression Nomura wasn't too fussed on Tantu, like basically really everyone. Have any treasure? mischievous duck. The horrors you have wreaked on poor Squall's wallet. We don't have time for you. Whoa. Uh, Yuna, Pian, and Rika, isn't it? Rika, Riku, one of the two. Oh look, guess he showed up to the party. With an outfit that is decidedly slightly edgier than what he usually has. Ain't Sephiroth the one who's supposed to be the dark part of Cloud's heart? <laughs> Did Cloud tell you that? Then he must understand now. Just what are you gonna do to him? Nothing. Cloud is the one who hungers for darkness. I shall just he be said he's here. got a score to settle with you. I see. He wants to meet me again. Oh my. Alright, see ya. Then I should give him what he wants. That last bit of light is always the hardest to snuff out. See ya, dude. Nice chat. Dungeon I was on about earlier. The one you need the things for. Uh, movement abilities. Nobody's. 
Oh, you waiting underneath me. Didn't even get hit by a thunderbolt, so it just circled around underneath. Well, I wouldn't give it for a drop attack. There we go, that time we got it. Fight against everyone and everything. Oh, come on. I really wish there was a way to interrupt that, but there isn't. Now we get to see our sick red thread some more. Man, they really fucked this place up, didn't they? Whoa. Well, you know, this is <coughs> it's only a bit of a problem. If everyone takes about a thousand, we should be fine. That's a lot of boys. She hadn't even got hit, really. The Blizzard is being distinctly ignored by the Heartless. Our actual lad is finding some gun. Why are their non-sword hands always pointing? Ah, uh, you know, it just shows that they're they're men of action. Heartless of action, demons of action. Or they just always need it pointed to be prepared. Think you can handle this many? Well, might be tough if one more shows up. Oh, when would you get a sense of wit? Then that'll have to be the one I take care of. What? This is a. I do like this. Banter though. Hello, Zephyroth. I that's sword cloud is using his fucking dumb. Why did it have bandages around yeah. it? I don't know why it has bandages really around it. The darkness will go away. I just, I just genuinely don't know. Speaking of that dark piss taking, comes from your own dark memories. <laughs> Do you think you can erase your past? It is meant to be Shut that up. length, but it's always fucking silly to see it. You I love it honestly. The present and live in the past. The washing pole style swords always. Just, I just love them. Too much. You don't know me! Cloud! I know. Because I am you. I am the one who rules over nature. Cloud! Wait! Huh? Oh, just talk to the girl. God, those are satisfying noises. 
would snap so easily. <laughs> it would, but it'd be Leon, fucking sick, and then you'd have two swords. Hang in there. Granted, one of them would be cutting into your hand as you use it. Okay, fellas, you've got to go find Riku and Kyrie. But Leon and the others are friends too. Don't worry, there's already lots of help here. We'll take care of this fight. But I promised Leon. Donald, Goofy, take Sora and get going. Riku, Kyrie, give me a little time, okay? No, nope. can't follow that order. We understand. We'll go search for Riku and Kyrie. Right. Watch for danger. You'll be careful too. Wait, you guys. Strawa, go and your turn. You're coming with us, whether you want to or not. <laughs> Come on, Sora. You're gonna be good. Gotcha. <laughs> well, then, skip the <laughs> Looking around while doing nothing, as a king should. Let's go. Whoa. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Hope you can forgive us. There's that slight whistling sound as they fall. How helpful you are, Mickey. And he's still not doing anything. Hmm. The organization's even got their own fucking CDs. Or DVDs or whatever. Imagine a password system that was just six distinct passwords. <laughs> That's a lot of passwords. Just collect your lot and strut off. Just out the other door and no one will notice. Absolutely every second of that was vital. He loved walking, that handsome. Hoods are extremely magical. Hollow as how would they hit all the hurt hide all the hurt these guys usually have by even slightly deforming or set her spilling out. That's the power of darkness for you, man. It keeps you looking right. He's still walking. He's not in any particular rush either, he's fine to take his time. Keep on walking, just keep on strutting, just keep on walking. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented the other day, with your permission, I'd like to proceed. I forbid it! Forget this talk of doors and the heart mm, of That's a familiar worlds. voice, isn't it? That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking. They are not. There it is. Thoughts are best forgotten. The first drop of the name that will come to haunt everything. Zehanort.
Incidentally, this entire scene was introduced uh, in Final Mix. It wasn't in the original Kingdom Hearts 2. Was that flashback? Flash on? Yeah. It has been far too long. Yeah, it was a flashback. Friend. Oh dear. That looked like a familiar device next to that suit of armor, didn't it? Backsound. Backsound 360. Zaxion! Zaxion! Right here. What is it? This is also Where flashback, is incidentally. Zemnis? His usual spot? The Chamber of Repose? Yes. Go and see for yourself. God, these fucking names. That isn't funny! I suppose I have no choice but to wait. I do love Vaxxin's performances ticking. every time. time. running out. What to do? Why is he never around when I need him? It's almost as if he knows I'm... Vaxxin was always pissed, wasn't he? He was just you know, constantly I mad. Like that place either. What about you, Zexion? What do you think? I think eavesdropping is intrusive. Why are you even here? You and Zaldin were tasked to recruit new members. <laughs> they really did fit, didn't they? were you procrastinating? As if I'm doing my job. I'll have you know, I found one just yesterday. Mar something. Mar something. That puts the organization's count at 11. Sounds like a flashy I've been working so hard, I had Lexius take my place for the day. I want to rest up for tomorrow, so I can wake up feeling nice and refreshed. It's quite an organization to have going on here, Is isn't it? so? Well then. Well, then this may people switch <laughs> ships. I have to catch up on. Oh, well, swap Appreciate. ships. Oh, don't be like that. Come on, stay and talk. Isn't it time you told me about Zemnis's secret? How long ago was it? When a bunch of warriors wielding key shapes. The traitor, you did a wonderful job. <laughs> a spectacular battle. And when it was all over, all that was left was a man lying unconscious without his memories. Zemnis. Yeah. I mean, Xehanort was found by Ansem right around then, wasn't he? Mm. Your point? The Chamber of Repose. If you recall, that's where we spent our time researching the darkness that resides within people's hearts. It's a graveyard that was sealed by order of Ansem the Wise. The first thing Xemnas did once he got rid of him was to undo the seal. It's, there's a lot of... In the back. Revelatory stuff that Final Mix so added in to set up for the next game in the series. When he can and he talks to someone. But who? For all Zemnis know, is Xehanort, yes. Xehanort is his real name, he just adapted the name Zemnis to pretend that he is Ansem, basically. Just for his own hear what they purposes. Were Dying to find out what it was, though. You wouldn't know anything and the Ansem we fought in the first game was indeed the Heartless like of Xehanort rather than duties. the Heartless of Ansem. As you should with yours, for we need to prepare the new facility immediately. But there are only 11 of us in the organization. We're going to need a few more hands on deck. What we need what new facility? 13. Oh, you mean Castle Oblivion. What does Xemnas plan on doing with that place anyway? He already shared his intentions with us. But did you know there's something he didn't share? Zigbar is a very suspicious man, isn't he? The Chamber of Repose is part of a pair. The Chamber of Waking is the other. Another graveyard, if you want to call it that. It was constructed by someone other than Xemnas himself. And that's where he'll find it. That's where he'll find his other friend.
But yeah, a lot of that is set up for birth by sleep. Basically, those two cutscenes, like the long walk into the room, view of the armor and all that, that's all set up for birth by sleep. Guess who's back? Hey, you guys are looking lively. Scrum! Didn't we catch you messing around in the underworld? How'd a wimp like you get into Organization 13? <laughs> I bet you can't even fight. Yeah, but we can. You shouldn't judge anyone by appearance. Ah, <laughs> yes, the most invested nobody. <laughs> the wrong guy. <laughs> Who is this kook? Remember, the organization's made up of nobodies. Right. No hearts. Oh, we do too have hearts. Don't be mad. You can't trick us. Silence, traitor. <laughs> He's just trying on different acts to see what works. Demix is the water bearer of the organization. Dance, water, dance. So this fight again. Uh, just gank as many of these as possible before time runs out, and that is actually a considerably stricter timer than last time. Where you had, you know, basically all the time in the world. Now you don't really. Demonstrate but I thought it's actually quite tight even now. Probably was a bad idea to enter this fight in Valor form actually because it's not giving us as many of the like the fucking reaction commands as I would like it to. Got not tight. Just probably should have entered that in uh Valor form, actually. Oh, fuck. I can't even get on the ground again to start ganging. Demix is a bit of a bastard, it must be said. He's worse on, you know, like, normal and all that, because his damage is considerably higher. He's, like, pretty much at the first, like, really tough fight in the game. And there's, like, basically, you know, a setup, like, the... The setup for, like, the future organization fights. He's got big, mad combos. He hits all over the place. Get rid of him before he gets off the. Nope, there it goes. This one is usually the one that gets people because, fortunately for us, they all gather together. But that one with 15 seconds on it is usually the game ender because if you don't finish the, you don't kill all the forms in time, it's just automatic game over. Like you just lose instantly, which makes this fight a bit of a bastard on, you know, higher difficulties especially where you just can't kill them. If you, do, if you don't get lucky like that, where they all just pile together on you, you're basically a bit fucked. It's pretty good to have reaction boost on that one. I was gonna make a Pokemon joke relating the fact that the guy is water dark type, but now I don't feel like it. <laughs> also, oh dear. That doesn't look like a fade away teleport. Anyone from the organization who'd like to be next? Hey, Sora. Come on, Dragon Eyes, man. Yeah, we gotta go help our friends out first. Oh, sorry. Then let's go. Yeah. Aha! There, there you are. go. Organization 13 is more like Organization 8 and I. They're actually even less than 8 and I. It's like 
I believe, what, five of them were killed before the game? Now Demix is, like, Axel is out. Demix is dead. Roxas is gone. You sure have lots of friends to help. But yeah, that's the thing. We've now just properly killed our first Organization 13 member. Yay! <laughs> now it's just the long walk for the rest of them. Three twats from Chien, Rox is gone, Axel ran away, this guy. It's six, six, which... No. Organization seven? Come on, wake up. Also, Zexion is dead, actually. Goofy? Speaking of dead, Goofy died. This is not happening. It can't be happening. Can't. The no, mouse hey, will this. seek blood in kind. Rest in peace, my sweet son. My beautiful angel. He, he got hit by worse in battles. Why is he dead now? I mean, it's a cutscene rock, man. Blood Rage, do it. Also, our various partners will appear to help us out now. So, we start off with Yuffie. Who actually takes after her... You could actually fight Yuffie in Kingdom Hearts 1 in the tournaments. Like, various of the... Yeah, you could also rematch uh, Leon there. Like various of the Final Fantasy characters could be fought in those tournaments, including Sephiroth. He was like the bonus boss at the end of all of it. He was also like pretty much the hardest fight in the game. Like he's a major motherfucker. It's nice seeing them actually get to do something in the plot. Oh, I know. <laughs> That's right, you, you have seen Kingdom Hearts 1, haven't you? You just throw shit at you, runs away and heals, which is pretty accurate to, <laughs> to how she is and let me on the land, you fucking in Final Fantasy 7. She is a ninja, you just wing shit, you do your healing and mostly just stay out of people's way. I do like this part of the game though, because it's just all oh, commit extensive violence. Okay, the annoying fight, yeah. Tifa just leaps in and kills people on her first hit because she is war and she will just destroy things harder than we can. But more than anyone else, she just has a ridiculous attack and will just devastate everything here. In fact, she pretty much doesn't need you around, but, you know, why not? Which, again, pretty accurate. Hell of an animation slowdown. He's just sort of barreling through the air, just ass overhead. The actual lad himself has come back. He probably still has his shit from Kingdom Hearts 1, but fortunately this time we're not on the receiving end. I don't know why mid air recovery didn't activate for that one, but hey. I wish that would aim upwards. 
It's fine though, Clyde's got it. Notice no Mickey. So the fucker just ran on ahead. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but I'm guilty. Hey, fellas! Of course he's not dead, you dipshits. None of you know how to take a pulse. Goofy. He's literally just out for a few seconds. And you just good. left him there. Aw, goofy. Worse, your majesty. I get bumped on the head all the time. <laughs> He's right. Don't sass him. You're the one who couldn't check his fucking pulse, you dumbass. You're dead, you dancers. He's fucking goofy. I mean, I have Cura. Well, oh, that. Did we get? No, we didn't. We should have a P boost, though. And we do indeed. All for Sora. What would it actually be? Did I know this thing? Hey, we have another armor slot. Fuck it, put that on. Oh, Goofy shit got unequipped too. How nice of you. Yeah, when that was failed a lot. You'll use it pretty quick, but yeah, can't hurt. Just use one of those. Who's gotten hit by worse than the actual cartoons back in the day? They all did. They all did. They've all been taking their fair share of knocks. I guess this time they're just like, well. Balls. Kind of curious. They don't actually have limit forms. They're technically not in our party because we're in a peace zone. So we can't activate Valor here and just run in with Valor on. Or Master. I kind of prefer Master at this point. Just because, hey, might as well get it some of the exper experience points too. Hey! Balls. It's the man himself. Angry Mickey looks wrong. The leader of Organization 13. Wait a minute. Now I know. Wise Ansem, I am here to seek your advice. Just actual hearts in two. I'm glad we have the opportunity to speak like this, my friend. I'm intrigued by your hypothesis, and I'm finding it difficult to stave off the urge to test it. Still, I'm concerned about the stability of the world. Yup, that's what worries me too. The doors that appeared, the place the heartless seek. I fear my research may have brought this. This is the shit we tidied up in Kingdom Hearts One. Master Ansem, regarding the experiment I presented... This is the scene day, we flashed back to. With your permission, I'd Mickey like was indeed see. present for it. I forbid it! He has an ice cream. He has the ice cream. That place must not be defiled. But Master Ansem, I've been thinking... They are not. Those thoughts are best forgotten. Zehanort. Now 
considerably buffer than he was before. Unleash your limiters, lads. One thousand each, and that's the way it has to be. So, hey, do you like Dynasty Warriors? I fucking like Dynasty Warriors. Let's go. This is the one thousand heartless battle. It's one of the, like this. Pretty much like the most famous set piece in the game because it's fucking rad. Just look at it. This entire horde is active, you just like, or becomes active the closer you get to it. And it really is just wait in there and destroy 1,000 of these fucking things. Also, a good time to limit limit form. Level limit form, excuse me. So, God damn, was hard with so much less HP than when you fought on I. Yeah. Why does there not show himself? Should he just let Sora go to town? I mean. He's probably just here to, either to watch the battle or to gloat. Because he was here collecting that da data from the computer, so he's probably just heading in it to have a little D while he's here. After all, he does want Sora and basically any other Keyblade wielder to destroy Heartless, so that their more hearts get added to Kingdom Hearts. That benefits him. Fill that up, but oh, this once we get that drive meter back to I think four. Then fuckers. Can activate limit form again. Give me a moment. I forget the exact way to level. Each form has like level requirements. What happens if a nobody meets the corresponding Heartless? Uh, as far as we know, nothing in particular. When the nobody meets the person they come from, then there's like a resonance effect between them, more like, you know, the, the nobody basically starts becoming absorbed back into the cell. But, uh, the Heartless, they just seem to be a different beast entirely. Yeah, uh... Uh, like, Valor Form is like, like one experience point for every melee attack you do. I think Wisdom Form is like one experience point for it. Or like a sp amount of experience points for every spell you cast, which I think your regular shots count for. I forget what Limit Form's level up requirement is. I know like Master Form and uh, the next form, because there is the next one, are both pretty easy to do because they just also commit extended violence. If I remember right. Like one of them is specifically kill nobody. Man, I wish we could use Valor Form right now, because it will be having the time of its fucking life, I tell you what. I'm pretty sure you could actually fully level Valor Form in this fight by itself. But you know, you can't go into the fight in it, so uh tough shit. I don't think you can go into this fight in Wisdom either, because like you get separated from Donald in the little fight before, and you can't activate a form in the beat room.
Like even now, I really like this like a uh, you know event like as a as a fight because it's just it's just bad the skill of it. Just shit like this where you just clear out entire groups of enemies. For the wee bits of Kingdom Hearts 3 we've seen, it seems like it's going to encourage more shit like this. Just this level of general chaos where you just wreck more enemies at once. Also, just look how many of them we fucking shredded anyway. They, they all have like lower HP by far to accommodate, but man, it's just, it's just fun. It's just like, go to time, just go out, so you can give this shit. Just let off some steam. Do this, and then we can get our drive meter refilling again. And bing. So I don't think we're going to run into it because we're playing on beginner and I'm getting the sneaky suspicion that it's just completely disabled on beginner. But on normal and above, whenever you have, whenever you use forms, after about three uses you enter the threshold for something called anti-form. Which is basically, you know, basically you turn into like, like just Sora covered in darkness. And the whole idea is in anti-form you don't have any partners, your defense is down like to basically nothing. But you're super speedy and all your attacks do like loads of hits at once even though they're all weak. It's meant to be like a sort of punishment form for abusing your forms. And it was that in Kingdom Hearts 2 regular. But then Final Mix they were kind of like, you know what, let's just buff it a bit and make it like just crazier. So it does more damage, it's faster, it has like m mad attack combos and basically anti-form is fucking rad. Sadly, you can't consciously turn into it, and you don't get any skills from it, it doesn't level up or anything. It is just sort of like a nerf form, but it it actually is quite useful in a number of fights. This is actually one of the fights it's quite useful in, because its attacks are all actually fairly severe AoEs, as well as being fast as hell. So you would just be you know, just going all over the places, like splitting into multiple, just doing fucking mad dashes and shit, cutting through all these. But I've like basically abused the hell out of forms in this run and we haven't run into it yet, so I get the sneak suspicion it is just disabled on beginner. Which is a shame, because anti-form is pretty cool. One thing I like it is genuinely 1000 of them. Like we're just we're down to like the last 13. Like this is them, they're all just in front of us right now. It isn't just like fight through it like a crowd that doesn't, never actually diminishes or anything. It, it is genuine. Like you saw 1000 of them. You ran out to be flying ones ages ago. Here's the last man standing. And that was the 1000 Heartless Battle. It's, it's a pretty rad set piece, I think. It really is those kind of underlying how far Sora's come as like you know, strength-wise and all that. Where's the king? Hey, look, he killed a come guy. On. Oh no, you distracted him. He did a Stay thing. North. It's amazing Mickey did something at long last. It's been since I abandoned that name. Out with it, nobody. Where's Kyrie? Where's Riku? I know nothing of any Kyrie. As for Riku, perhaps you should ask your king. Ooh. Stop. And teleport. And of course. He went with him so he doesn't have to answer any questions. He's gone. Because no one is ever going to tell Sora a damn fucking thing that's going on. What's going on? Way to fall right into their trap. Come on, 
It's a setup by Organization 13. Axel, hi. Themnus is using you to destroy the Heartless. That's his big master plan. <laughs> you need to be in a car somewhere. The guy you just saw. He's their leader. Got it memorized? X E M N A S. Thank you. Organization 13 wants to get rid of the Heartless? Man, you're slow. They really are. Every Heartless slain with that Keyblade releases a captive heart. That is what the organization is after. So what do those guys think they do with the hearts? To be I fair, this is you. the first point where you get Tell that us. clear. You, you're the one who kidnapped Kyrie. You get some insinuations Bingo. throughout the game that the name's Axel. They want you to do their job because they outright tell you, yeah, go keep killing Heartless and shit. And you're kind of like, why? But this is the first point where you're, Please, you're told outright me. that, hey, they want you to do this for nefarious Look, reasons. About Kyrie, I'm sorry. Axel. Uh oh. And <laughs> teleport away. We'll ensure he receives the maximum punishment. Try stopping him I in the back. I don't care about any of that. Just let me into the realm of darkness, okay? If it's Kyrie you're worried about, don't. We're taking very good care of her. Take me to her. Is she that important to you? Yeah, more than anything. Show me how important. Please. So you really do care for her. In that case, the answer is no. <laughs> you run. Are you angry? Do you hate me? Do you really expect that from these guys by now? Directed at the heartless. Pitiful heartless, mindlessly collecting hearts. And yet, they know not the true power of what they hold. The rage of the Keyblade releases those hearts. They gather in darkness, masterless and free, until they weave together to make kingdom hearts. And when that time comes, we can truly finally exist what in the world do you think you're prattling on about kingdom hearts belongs Great to me big villain pile up. the heart of all kingdoms the heart of all that lives a dominion fit to be called kingdom hearts must be my dominion maleficent no no more heartless I do not take orders from you! Fool. Nobody. Synchronized takedowns. Shouldn't it be oh, no. Heart Kingdom? That doesn't sound as sick, though. At bay, you devise a way to vanquish Even them. Maleficent Forever. gives herself up to do shit. Maleficent. It's a bunch of dust. Do not misunderstand me. I shall have my revenge on you yet. And they're just kind of hugging her. Maleficent, leave now. I don't take orders from the you. enemy of my enemy, I guess. I mean, Sorry, yeah, I guess. But what about? She's fine, really. Now then, where did we leave off? Huh? Well, she was fine. Neither side want him dead because they both want him alive to do their thing. Which side are you guys on, anyway? Because the if he was dead, they can't actually. The yeah, they need him to take care of the other side, and also, one side needs him alive to actually achieve the task that they want. 
Here's Sora. Extract more hearts. It's a curious situation to be in. You two are fine to kill them, by the way, because you don't have a keyblade. No! The hearts! Just let them kill all the shit. Maybe everything we've done, maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the keyblade? Use your fists. Imbeciles. Also, the heartless side with the strongest. Who is strongest? Yeah, that is a point that was made in Kingdom Hearts 1. I mean, keyblade users are just inherently, you know, upho like the opposite of them. And then just kind of probably a thing I think it's also like when they say strength or the strongest you need to have darkness in your heart you need to be a prick basically okay, so you need to be a big prick Sora, Donald, Goofy. and then Relax. you can those three aren't going down that do shit way. then you can control the heartless the that's why Pete could control them him. it's not because he's particularly he's the strongest it's just that he's a giant prick he, he is the biggest prick in the room at any given point See you soon. Yeah, it's getting pretty empty in here, isn't it? Sora knows the truth now. The more heartless that he defeats, the closer he is to becoming our perfect puppet. This new knowledge will make him that much harder to control. Did Leon just despawn for a sec there? I didn't notice, but it might he might have. It, it might have been like a thing really? where because it's widescreen now. He like they, in the original he would have been off screen, but now he no longer is. It's what his pure little heart wants. There. The dice have been cast. Literally. Things are in motion. He can't stop this. Nothing is set in stone. If the dice aren't in your favor, you will share Demix's fate. Don't you look at me, I'm sitting up. The fun is in not knowing, isn't it? What is the point of betting on something if you already know the outcome? Free money. Are you sure that defeating him won't derail the organization's plan? If he is to die so easily, he is of no use to us. That's exactly and to be fair, I'm if he dies to Heartless again, he loses his heart, and then a new new body spawns. <laughs> or Roxas respawns, I guess. I guess sometimes help comes from unexpected places. Sure does. Oh, Maleficent kicked us back to our ship. Just in case he didn't get it, he the scene again. Maybe everything we've done, maybe it was all for nothing. What am I supposed to do if I can't use the Keyblade? Imbeciles! You can't be trusted to do anything! Huh? And in that darkness... Sora realized what the truth was. What's this place? It must be the realm of darkness. Kairi! Riku! Just because it's dark doesn't mean it's the realm of darkness. Mind you. Are you sure you want to open that? Gorge, it's the gang from Twilight. <laughs> it was just the meal man. <laughs> Olet, and uh, um, the Rex. dark meal man. No. How the did name you just know popped his into name? my head. This is Roxas. Are you sure you want to eat? Oh, he's that? eating it. 
chunky. No, sweet. It isn't even dark. You can see everyone perfectly. They managed to see the guy in the robes. Hello, Emily. It's all the guy in the dark robes, so it can't be that dark. Trapped in some kind of hell, you decide to play Kingdom Hearts the rest of all eternity of your own free will. Of my own free will, for I am my own man, and this is the shit I do to myself. Also, yeah. Part of, like, I just wanted to have, like, I wanted to just, I had the compulsion to play the whole series again before Kingdom Hearts 3. I'll say, again. Like, there will be a point where each games I haven't played. Because, uh, I've only played two thirds of Breath by Sleep, and I haven't played DDD at all. Oh, I played 10 minutes of DDD on 3DS where I said the circle pad is shit and stop playing. And I haven't touched 0.2 prologue and all that, so... I'm going through all the ones I do know, to the ones I don't. Hey, what if the Heartless are back again? I can't use the Keyblade. That would only help the organization. So yeah, just welcome to this mad ride. But Sora, I think you have to use it. If we don't fight them, the Heartless will keep on hurting folks. Alright. Oh, we now got a bunch of places that now have their second thing. Have, like, kicked up. I think. No, this is not the second thing yet. Atlantic has its second thing. Uh. Hmm. Oh, well, these two are just gone. I do believe, yep, everywhere is now upgraded to level 36 and shit. So this is this is the sound. Yeah, well, time to go around where you know. What time are we on? I've never played a single game in these series. How long are these games? Yeah, the Lion King World is unavailable now until we reopen it. These games aren't that long. In the grand scheme of things, like Kingdom Hearts 1 is like all normal, and even when I forgot where I was going and wandered around for ages aimlessly, I still got that done in like 15, 16 hours, something like that, 17 hours. And that was on normal. Uh, Chain of Memories is also is like even shorter than that by a little bit, like that was like 14 hours. Kingdom Hearts 2 on normal is like 30 to 40 hours if you're just doing like, the straight path. I'm playing it on beginner here, because just, you know, try and get the entire series done on time. And we're still at the 12 hour mark, but this is the halfway point of the game. So, there's that. Birth by Sleep is slightly shorter than that. Like, I think overall that's like 25 hours on average. And I don't know for sure for the ones after that, but as far as I know, according to David, who has played it, DDD is about the length of Kingdom Hearts 1. So, they're, they are RPGs, but they're all like relatively short compared to your average RPG's runtime. Anyway, yes. Everywhere now has its like second or third trip. So, uh, where to? Let's just pick Hollow Bastion, fuck it. So I'm right, we should. Where is it? I don't think the actual maze one's one isn't open yet. The sword become a quadruped in the Lion King world? Yeah. <laughs> he does. Oh. Let's see, that should be open again. Yeah, there, okay, there we go. Bunch of places have their stuff open. No, like, their, their second episode's open. One of these ones is 100 Acre Woods. I forget, I'm pretty sure the other one must be Tron, like, Tron's world. Maybe I'll see it if I go into it. Let's just check Tron's world to be sure. I'm very indecisive right now, I'm sorry. But, like, I f I've forgotten the flu. Oh, look. 
So we do have to come back here. Well, if we're not getting anything now, then... I don't believe we have to come back here just yet. Good guess. It would be weird to have human soil running around the rest of the animals. It would be, yeah. Like, no, we're not doing Space Paranoids Part 2 yet. So fuck it, we'll just go to the ones we do now. Can we dummy ship from here? Nope. And while it wouldn't entirely make sense, it would just be nice. We can't just play a light cycle if we want to. Uh, yeah, so fuck, we'll just do them in the same order again. So, back to the land of dragons. Oh dear. Wait. More for sure. Mulan, hey, no time to talk. We gotta catch that guy. I'm following him too. Then let's go. Yeah, all good. Let's go. Look in that one direction. Nobody's a creeping about now. The organization and I making their fucking moves. That was not reversal. Fuck it, who even cares? Careful, everyone. You remember what happened here last time? Looks like he got away. How come you're after somebody from Organization 13? What is that? <laughs> the guy in black. One of the bad guys. I knew it. There's a rumor in the Imperial City about a spy in black lurking in the mountains. I've been up. He's not very good at this whole sneaking thing. Arrived, I lost him. Oh. Sorry. Don't apologize, but I do wonder where he went. Probably over yonder hill. If I had to say, I guess. Hey, remember these guys? Again? Okay. First things first. This again. <laughs> Someone's being a big prick. Hey, you! Quit Use the Chinese real gun so you don't waste your gunpowder. <laughs> oh, I recognize that blade. What's your deal, buddy? Why are you doing this? I wonder. Besides the fact that you're just a big prick sometimes.
Fortunately, he's not very launchable. So, uh, we're just kind of slapping him over and over again. You can just kind of jump at him. You're just sitting there. Okay, he's getting enough of shit to do something. Yeah. Jester and run. That guy. No. Why would he? Riku? He's sitting there menacingly. Just weaving a sword and occasionally swinging it, but mostly just kind of watching you beat the shit out of him. Did you get him? Hmm. No. He's gone. What? You lost him? Anyway, what now? I love how they never show them actually taking off the cars because they just didn't have the tech. Yeah. Didn't have it until a few years after this. <laughs> Where they showed it off being done in like 35 years slash 2 days. At one point. What was that? Come on, we better get off the mountain. Okay. Okay, you can't suddenly come awake. It's just like sniffing thing. What have you done? Oh, hey. That's a nasty big ship. It's heading for the city. We've got to warn Shang. Oh, you know, beat it there and fight it. Who knew the land of dragons would have a dragon heartless? <laughs> the most intense stir down you ever see. have like moderately more HP. Also these guys, the super forms, the little regular heartless are kicking my butt. Just to replace the normal shadow. So trippy toe there's not really any difference honestly. Like they look a bit weird. But they do more or less the same amount of damage and behave otherwise completely the same. These guys are here and they are exactly as big pricks as they were before. Jumped into the air for me because I can't launch it. Come on, come on, please stop saying yeah constantly. No, that's why you are here. Enjoy her cries. They will haunt you in your darkest moments. Shit, 
she'll, she'll fuck it off for a wee bit when I use Master Form. Now, wonder, David told me that trick about, like, you now if you go into a fight where you don't have your partners and you go into, like, a form before you do, it will refill your drive meter to the max for you. And I'm kind of like, hmm. But, I don't think everything's fine. Dragon hasn't arrived yet. We're pretty nonchalant about that. Giant pricks, though. Fortunately, we can just basically stay in the air for as long as we need to. Come on, come here. Right. Do this and fuck him. She just I read said for China and that kinda makes me laugh. Cause every mention of a real world place in one of these just makes me giggle. You stop running away from me, you fucking horse man. Better, all the hell forwards has brought us back the fools. So we don't even need the cask here. Cure out, real. Good job, guys. Remember your training. They all climb like fucking monkeys. Uh. No. Still let you know how far she's come. We didn't do that scene earlier. Literally just stand on the other side of the door just kinda of giggling to himself. Wait. <laughs> it seems to be a different road, motherfucker. Here's Zigbar's goons. Ah, oh, he's teleported again. Nah. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> That's another one of those perfect gags. The guy who can, like, the guys who can just teleport everywhere. And instead of just teleporting, he just fucking ran past you while you weren't looking. Because you're just fucking blind.
Oh, so yeah, crossbows. Zigbar's whole thing is he is a crossbow sniper, as demonstrated by these guys turning into mad laser beams. And warp snipe is also a thing you do against Zigbar himself in his his fight coming up. Not here, but later. And it's pretty rad, especially when multiple of them go off at once, because you can just chin warp snipes like this. Just teleporting all over the fucking place, because we're now just a fucking Jedi. In all but name. This reminds me of the Chinese novel I'm currently reading. It has the dumbest subplot of all time. There's this woman who seduces some guy to get back at his father. He did something bad to her, but she starts to fall in love with him and doesn't want to kill him, so instead she tortures and completely traumatizes him. That's logically sound. I'm like, I, I can follow that, yeah. Makes a lot of sense. He doesn't want to kill him, but does sitting arguably worse than death. Yeah. Yes, the young man appeared, roughed the shit out of Shang just for fucking giggles, and then told us about the dragon. So I'm point out that he got totally owned by your man. He was rather rude. <laughs> he wouldn't do that to a loved one. Yeah. I mean, you know, what better way to show you love them than by tormenting them for the rest of their lives and leaving lasting scars. <laughs> That's right, yeah, totally. Yeah, let's gonna loot the Imperial Palace while we're here. I hope no one minds. We need these more than you do, honestly. I see that back there. I see your secret stash. There's our Calicum. That beloved shit we need for the ultimate weapon, although again. I'm gonna stick that on Goofy right now. Seeing as he's right here. You. Now, why would we climb the pole? Because it's more shit we need glide or bear jumps for. So we are gonna see it while we're here, so why not? We are a wee bit on the level for, like, the level curve, the level curve right now, but. Doesn't matter too much, really. Just, okay, we're on easy, so it's just kind of you know, just walk through all of them, get comboed about a bit, but then just get them anyway. Hello. It's also fucking easy mode, yeah. Takes it a moment. Look, Milan, I can survive a fall from this height. I don't think you can. Yeah. 
Okay, we're back. I wish you would start doing your move antics right when I go into a form. Fucker that you are. You son of a bitch. <laughs> it's fine, there's another one. Move the game. I wish you would come out of your jump a wee bit faster there, Zora. onto the spike for dear life. I do love these animations though. This is the meaty sound effect of you beating the shit out of it before you launch it. Thunder element, which gives us Thundara. Don't move or anything. Don't help or anything. them have their moments, you pricks. Just have these on standby for victory over a dragon. Once again, you have Big thing coming at you, just well. stand there and look at it. Yep. It would please me to reward you. What is it that you wish? 
Well... You say a guy in black came to see you. What did he say? I'm just running away from a straight line. Request? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can get money and food Giants elsewhere. Crossed our land and left a great web of ants. These dragons wield much power, and they are the source of many gifts to both man and nature. But it would seem someone of evil intent disturbed one of our dragons and transformed it into what you call a heartless. And now we killed it. It is my belief that this young man came to warn me of that danger. Then I could alert and prepare my troops. Did you? <laughs> I was about to, but he told me this situation had changed. He said three wise guys had arrived, and they would take care of things. Warn. I mean, he did warn. That's gotta be Riku. Tell the Emperor so he can tell Sora. But what's he doing hanging out with Organization 13? Nothing to really say that he no is. But he's wearing the same kind of coat, okay. but there's nothing to say that he, he is. This is also a neat Why, visual thing, incidentally. Now then. Like if it's Rika, it makes some sense. It is like, oops, ow. I like Shang. I mean, what? the captain. Yes, yes. Please, why not just tell Sora? I mean, Riku does have a reason for not telling Sora, and it's his. That is his current condition, as we've seen in. I guess it's technically spoilers for this one, but like what happened in three, five, eight slash two days. Captain Lee's responsibility Riku's not in the state that he wants Sora to see him in right now. I'm still going, because I'm yes. fucking nuts. Would you like to serve alongside him and protect him? But uh yeah. He has his reasons for not telling Sora, and they, they are legitimate reasons to be fair to him. There's also like a vi nice little visual tell. Uh usually when someone teleports Thank in you. in a black excellency. coat, if you see like traces of white and like you know, little jagged white sparks in it. That's a nobody teleporting in. If it's just like a pure puff of darkness, that's usually Riku turning up. Of course, the the uh, organization thirteen can use just the straight dark portals, but they tend to make big giant voids and step into them rather than just doing plain dark teleports. Usually, when they just do a plain quick teleport to get escape, it has like the white nobody traces. That's land the dragons fully complete. Exposing the hints of another world. But that's gonna be us for the night. Because Dave is right, it is a bit mad. It's now like 20 past 11, so you know. I have to go to bed for work soon. But uh, yeah, we're now at pretty much the halfway point of the game, so. I've been what? Four streams? I'd say. Like our four or five, we could probably be done in that time. Maybe. It does depend. Uh, if I do the thing where like I record some sessions offline, like on, you know, like Saturday morning, Sunday morning, then we absolutely can be done basically in a few days, and then we'll be on to birth by sleep. It's Wednesday. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we could definitely have this finished on Sunday, actually. Especially if I go overtime on Saturday night, just because I can stay up and... Friday night, too, for that matter. I don't know how to give a shit those days. I'm not working weekends. So just stay up and go nuts. That sounds like a plan. One way or another, we will have this entire series done before January 29th. So yeah, uh, thanks for turning up. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you tomorrow.